All right, I am back again. I've got a kind of story. I'll put a link in the description um, to this. A uh, couple of things, and this is kind of centered around law enforcement. The first is that uh, officer in Washington State who's about who could possibly lose his job because he questioned the shutdown. There's a lot of stuff I don't know about that, but the Yankee Marshal did a video on it. He's from relatively close, so he knows the area better than I do. And the reputation of the police better than I do. And he did a fairly good video. I'll uh, put a link to that in the description. But along the theme of the police department. Apparently in the past few days there's been an uh, a, uh, officer involved shooting in Louisville, Kentucky. Where apparently the police served a warrant to the wrong address allegedly came in shooting uh, shooting blindly I think is how what the lawsuit alleges and someone you know while they were in bed by the way it re uh, from what I can gather and the woman who was completely totally innocent died. And apparently the boy the boyfriend returned fire at some point. He's currently in jail, apparently, for trying to kill an officer because he shot back. Let me give you some a bit of information. First off, this isn't the first time something like that has happened this year. We had something in Maryland uh, earlier. Now, I know I didn't cover that in the video a while back. I'll put a link in the description, description to a story about that one. But apparently, the only time they can serve words is in the dead of night. But I don't know about you. If I'm in bed asleep, and I'm awoke by my door getting busted down, I'm not necessarily going to be hearing uh, orders or what's being said. I'm probably going to be uh, ducking for cover and arming myself to fire back. I can't blame him for firing back one bit. And I will say, if the police had any dignity to them, or not the police, but the district attorney and whatnot, if they had any decency to them, they would drop the charges on this guy for trying to defend himself. Because the police were in the wrong, and even if they gave commands, like I said, if even if they didn't fire the first shot, if I was in bed asleep and my door was busted down, I probably would the last thing on my mind would be, hmm, I wonder if that's the police. No. It would be, oh, holy crap, someone's breaking into the house, grab the gun, take cover, we're in for a long one. That's the route I would go. The fact of the matter is, and I also covered a story in Colorado where it, a house got blown up by some sort of grenade over like a $28 shirt from Walmart. You know, you want to support the police. You want to support the military. But sometimes their actions make it hard to do. And more importantly, their lack of actions make it hard to do. When you have instances where the police are not policing themselves but are trying to cover it up, and I'm kind of referring to that incident in uh, oh, 
what's his name, down in Georgia, got shot by the father and son. The father was a retired police officer, and they tried to sweep, sweep it under the rug. The good old boy system. There's a lot of that when it comes to the police and law, uh, yeah, law enforcement, your fire department, your military. But the fact of the matter is, when they cover for stuff like that, it makes it hard to trust them. When they serve warrants to the wrong people, it makes it hard to trust them. You would think something that major would be something they would take the time to get it correct, but they did. You would think they would understand that some of the greatest injustices of his, in history have been under the guise of, or committed under the guise of, I was only following orders. And we discovered in the Nuremberg trials that simply following orders is not an excuse for doing something wrong or illegal. And I would assume that would include unconstitutional. We're entering a very pivotal point in American history at this point in time. Distrust and dissatisfaction in the government is probably at an all-time high. Their handling of this coronavirus crap is not helping matters at all. Donald Trump was literally elected, not because he thought he was a swell stand-up guy, but because he pre was presented as the outsider. And people, large number of people, were sick and tired of politics as usual. The question is, when are, are we going to get to the point where we say enough is enough and that things have to change? And speaking of things needing to change, I'll throw in an article about people who are in the United States on a work visa who, are, who lost their job because of the coronavirus, either temporary or whatnot. And basically, if they don't find another job in that same field or get rehired, they're out of the country with no mercy whatsoever. They couldn't help what happened. But we have a system where the people who tried to do the right thing to, in coming to America, even for a short while, are being punished for something outside their control. But we have a system where people violate every last immigration law on the books to get here and they're trying to find ways to make exceptions to where nothing will happen to them and they can stay. What's just and upright about that? What's just and upright about you know literally blowing up someone's house over a shirt? Or raining down bullets into a house at 4.30 in the morning because they didn't come out when they were in bed asleep. What's moral and just about imprisoning someone for defending their home in the dead of night when police busted in? And that's literally what happened. They had committed nothing wrong. And even if they weren't, didn't bust down literally having guns ablaze, you would think the fact that someone innocent died, someone innocent dying, would be grounds enough that the district attorney would say, you know what? 
no one, they don't, these people don't need, or this man does not need to be prosecuted. If anyone does, it's the police. And to sum up, I'll take a line that the Yankee Marshal put out there about that guy up in Washington. If they're willing to fire him because he stood up and said, I don't believe the government has a right to do this, but police forces around the country defend shooting people in their bed asleep or protecting their buddies who are retired cops who, from, from what I can tell, hunted someone down and essentially murdered him because the guy did try to get away before he charged them and they kept chasing him and moving his, their truck where he couldn't get away. If they're willing to cover stuff like that, heinous stuff, but fire someone for standing up and saying this is wrong, anyone with a brain, anyone with a spine, anyone with any integrity would stand up and point to this and say they're not on our side. And that needs to be rectified. Let me know what you think. Later.